Hi, welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about introducing kids' masks to the special ones. Stay tuned. Life for kids with special needs is never easy and it has never been, but it is now more difficult. This pandemic has deprived them of their routines, which is so important to their well-being. Schools have been closed, therapies cancelled, they cannot go out. We parents are stuck at home, either working or trying to maintain the semblance of a normal life. And uh, our anxiousness, they have to deal with it. Like these kids are excellent radar to catch off any anxiety or negative feelings or in general the not well-being of their parents which kind of scares them and they do not know how to react to it. So these kids with special needs are facing the brunt of this pandemic and since they cannot voice it, uh, it is uh, left to us to try and understand and help them overcome it. Wearing mask is a big challenge for kids with special needs because uh, they find anything covering their face very difficult. Most of them have challenges also wearing hats or things like mittens and socks. So when to add to that, they have to put on a mask when they want to step outside. It's kind of very difficult for them. So here I'm going to share a few ideas which I think will help ease the idea of mask to your little one. Now, while listing down these ideas, we have to remember they are kids and so the approach has to be kids friendly. So the first idea that I thought might work and a lot of people like me do is masking their favorite toy. Each child has a plush toy or a soft toy or an animal or an action figure which is very close to heart. Something which they keep close by, you know, which is their comfort toy. So, either find a mask that fits that toy or you make one for it so that when they see their favorite toy when they get used to the idea of their favorite toy putting on a mask for protection along with you explaining it to them all the time whenever it's possible that they, this idea of wearing a mask will be a little bit more acceptable to them so my first idea is find a mask that fits their favorite toy and I know it might be a struggle, you put it on, they take it off. Every kid does. But still, uh, once they get used to the idea of their favorite toy, putting on a mask, uh, I think uh, they'll be more accepting to putting one themselves. Second idea is leave a mask in plain sight. The first idea would be to take a mask which is clean and unused and just put it out there. Just leave it there. Somewhere where he or she will find it and turn it around and play with it. The idea is that they get used to the idea of the texture and the feel of the mask. So the main uh, problem is the sensory feeling that they get out of it the moment they cover this part. So um, they, uh, just leave it around and hope that they pick it up. And when they pick it up, that is your cue. That is the point when you can just say a small short sentence like mask, oh, mask is important. All of us needs to put them on. Do you like this one? How about do you think about it? Small things as long as it is possible to be meaningful and you have his attention. So just leave it in plain sight. Now you do that and yet your child just bypasses it or finds a way to stay away from it. Then you have to take it a notch further. Leave it on his bed or exact position which is the favorite spot on the couch probably and he or she will have to pay notice to it. So try doing that. The idea is the more they get used to the texture and the feel of it and they might even try to put it on. So try it. Just leave a mask around so that they can explore it as a toy. The third idea is animation and social stories. Uh, all the big uh, cartoon characters, be it Sesame Street and the rest of it, they have come up with videos where they are telling kids, you know, their favorite characters and advocating the use of a mask and how to put it on and why it is important. So you might uh, try playing that once a day in the beginning, you know, on the YouTube or laptop or your mobile and showing it to them. 
whichever character they like a lot i think it will be easy to find that so and there are lots of videos and if you go to my website i've put in a social story there so which you might find useful in talking through with your child now and then so since we know we cannot force an idea right away to them it is easy if we start now so that tomorrow when the lockdown reaches a state in your place where you live where you have to take your child out he is prepared to put on a mask my next idea is a family picture so we all have family pictures that is up on the wall or you know on the bookshelf so what i would suggest is take a picture where the entire family is there and replace it with a picture where all of you are wearing masks so and put it up on the wall put it on the bookshelf put it anywhere where it's very easily visible by the child so the more they see it i know modeling is important for them so but uh, you must be modeling out to them that we are wearing masks while we are going out in addition to that if you leave those pictures of you uh, your family on the bookshelf or the bedroom wall you know somewhere where they can just see it just take a cheap print and stick it on the wall it doesn't matter how good quality or bad it is just the fact that they accept that this is now the new normal the masked version of the family uh, this is, I think, a good idea that you could try. So the more they see it, the more natural it seems to them. So try this one. Next one is part of visual routine. Now, most kids with special needs have a visual routine. In fact, I think a lot of kids here in Canada or US do have a visual routine. So it's like a part of their regular life. So if you have a visual routine, try to include the putting on the mask in there. Maybe you draw it and you add it a step, additional step, so that they see it every time they're dressing up, that they need to put on the mask. And when they come back, like the undressing, undressing story, the mask goes in there as well. So make it a part of the visual routine. Again, what we are trying to do in little ways is introducing the concept of mask in every single aspect of their life. By trying it on their toy, leaning it around, putting the family in a mask, and putting up a picture showing them that their favorite character is also now putting on a mask and now this visual routine so if we can cover this little little aspect of all their lives you know which is important to them and which they understand they will be more accepting to this concept good luck with that the last idea is a signal for mask off um, let me explain <laughs> it sounds difficult so if your child is still non-verbal then that's the reason it says signal so it might be a cue card or on the ipad or a signal sign language which they can show you to tell that they really need to take their mask off for two minutes or you know to catch the fresh air like it, it happens to me as well so i go to the shopping mall i'm very happy shopping with my friends feeling safe using a mask but it just suddenly feels like i'm out of breath and to catch my breath I often walk out of the mall or find a corner where there is nobody around. I take my mask off and breathe in. This really helps. So I think any child, I even had this discussion with my son's current teacher where I told him that it might so happen that my son feels claustrophobic wearing that mask and he needs to take it off. Will you have a corner in your classroom or in the playground where my son can take it off? He said yes, he has thought about it. So maybe when your son is taking it out or fiddling with it or telling me that he needs to take it off, I'll give him five minutes where he can take it off and then again safely put it back on. He'll help him that way. So this is what we can do. So a child, if he knows that he has to put it at eight in the morning and keep it on till four, there will be times when he needs to take it out, you know, and breathe in and breathe out normally. So. Uh, if you can develop some sign language or some sort of understood script that he can say or she can explain to you where you, if you're in a public place, you take them away from the crowd and okay, you got your five minutes, take it off, breathe, and then you put it back on. I think any child, if given this option, will be more prone to wearing the mask for a longer duration. WHO thinks that kids with developmental disabilities uh, should be given a clean chit based on what the educators, their parents and the therapists think. So uh, I know there is this option that you don't have to put a mask 
necessarily on if your child is one with special needs but then we want to protect them we want them to feel safe we want to feel confident when we take them out so for their own good it would just make sense if we try a bit so try these ideas out start working now if you are in a country where the lockdown is just being lifted or is yet to be lifted now